So how how many games have you been playing? Here, let me let me check. Let me go on teamfight.lol and type in bunny muffins. Oh no ad, but, but honestly, wait, isn't that site way better than lol chess in some ways? Uh not yet, but soon. But soon. But you're on the right track. Okay, I played 35 games. Oh, that's barely anything then. Yeah, I've been I I had a lot of like um other commitments and because of that i've been playing like every other day instead of every day so i, I need to copy your homework essentially okay wait so do you have a good grasp on the meta um it's from what i've i just did some data checks it's like uh fiora kaisa and i think silco yeah i mean forecasts are fine but it's also a heavy reroll meta um like Chogath, Samira, Rogues, Jinx, slash Jace. Um... Oh yeah, I've been seeing Jinx slash Jace. I haven't seen too much Samira. Uh, mainly just Chogath. Yeah, but if you can get a Samira online and, and like have good items for it, I probably would play into Samira if I got a tier. Or if you were playing Ornn, if I got Tracer's Glass slash Sniper's Focus, probably would, would like play for that instead, right? Uh, play for Samira, but Cho'Gath, right? The conditions for Cho'Gath are like one or two Cho'Gaths, no, at least like two, I'd say. But if you're uncontested, you can have one Cho'Gath, it's fine. You have to have tank item opener or Anima uh, Visage from Orn, right? Because that item is absolutely broken on Cho'Gath. Yeah. Uh, yeah, also like whenever I have been going Cho'Gath reroll, I saw in the meta snapshot on bunnymuffins.lo slash meta, the mandatory items are actually really mandatory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Like, it's almost always uh, redemption, it's ramble, yeah. ramble off, because without it, he will be like too squishy late game. Like, mid game, honestly, you could build anything resembling tank and with a three star Cho, and he'll pop off. But uh, as you start scaling into the game more, like it, uh, the 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 declaw and the bramble will actually matter a lot more. Um, also, another thing is, uh, you can even play Cassiopeia Renekton reroll. It's not as good as Cho'Gath and doesn't have the scaling factor of it, but it is really strong uh, early and mid if you can hit early. Oh, okay, just but, to farm like a top four or something. Yeah. But here, I think out of all these units, yeah, TF I don't really care about support. these two costs, right? Uh, I don't care about TF as much, and I probably just buy Malzahar plus one other unit, like Lawi, I guess. It doesn't matter. It does not it's matter. Okay. So here we have one Cho, right, and then we have a tank item. So here is a good, uh, yeah, good. So we guarantee a stack here. Here's a good possibility we're playing. Well, not a good possibility, but there's is a possibility we're playing Cho. So then we just scout around see if anyone is in the process of testing us there's always one guy only one about it. like this guy's probably thinking about right. oh uh, oh no this guy oh all right so it's this guy's four chogats and he's a d claw so he has is in a much yeah, no he has a cloak yeah we're probably so he's not in a much cloak. better position than we are um even though our items are like goaded for it so in this case i'll reroll left and yeah, right it's never unburdened right I i'm thinking buried right. treasures but yeah, I, out of all of these, Buried Treasures is probably the most takeable. Um, yeah, I would reroll Social Distancing. Well, okay, that, that is one of the worst augments ever. So yeah, it's, it's like Dead Eye, right? All the Dead Eye augments always sucked, and now all the Vanquisher. Yeah. So, given <laughs> this opener, we're probably playing Tempo, right? So. Yeah, probably uh, okay, so sell have, the Galio. Yeah, we just sell Galio Cassidy and just level up for, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, we could also Titans? put in Gunner. Actually, I put in Gunner instead of Nefuri. Like, Raves and Jinx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, reason being is you can play around Jinx this way. I would make Stone Plate on Renekton. And then oh, we'll yeah, isolate it's broken him. On him. It's broken on Renekton. And then when we isolate him, we can just both the Jinx for now. Just so, so just so we can like get a little bit of extra. Yeah, combat. I was thinking like rune on sunfire force gunners, but that might be a little too tunnely. No, yeah, that's too tunnely. This guy's gunner heart. He's absolutely playing gunners, right? So. Oh yeah, I didn't even see again. That. A lot of players around this elo, they'll there's one Cho'Gath player, one gunner player, like almost guaranteed. There are two almost AFKs. Guaranteed. 
I think maybe we could have won this fight if we um, isolated it Renekton. Yeah. And then uh, another thing is um, we, we signed the belt on him. All right. Like here, I don't necessarily want to commit to Gunner. It's like you have really good Gunner items. Right? Yeah, you but because the other person's her. going for it, it's not like one of the best comps ever. Yeah. Yeah, it is a very, like, compared to the other four cost comps, Gunners are really bad in terms of reliability and scaling. You can have to nuts a failure board, but it's probably a top three at best. Mm -hmm. Right. Would you um, slam Guardbreaker for Valium? Because that one kind of flexes into a bunch of stuff. It is, but well, you already lost the last guy, fight, but, right? Yeah. You already lost your last fight. Guardbreaker, I'd say, is okay. If you win this fight, I, I'd be more inclined to slam it, right? Yeah, yeah. Guardbreaker is somewhat of an AP item now, because I think it only has AP stats. They took out the AD stats. Oh yeah, it's attack speed and, and which AP. Is, which is fine, which is fine, because we're leaning towards AP, because most of the four costs are AP heavy. Um, since you won your last fight, I'm actually down to Slam Guardbreaker then, right? Okay. Check I can wait oh, till um, we see who we face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So check what the Zon is with Echo. Check what? Oh. Just what the Zon is. Oh, it's oh, really good. good. It's pretty good. That's better than Gunner, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done to make it. Slam it? Done to make it. Yeah, I'm done to slam it. Okay. I think we win this one. It's not, it's not a bad item. It's not a bad item. <laughs> okay. And this Lowy, Lowy 2 is actually no joke. So it was kind of scary, but not really. But kind of, right? Yeah, I guess, yeah, we it did help a bit. I thought Renekton would be tankier than the Alawi, I'm not going to lie. And now we just pre-level, right? Um, uh, all those, let me just pre-level, because I, I want a side shop. All right, all so right. we have a bow. What do you think we're looking for carousel here? We could do Rageblade to stay flexible. Because mm -hmm. we could do like a zero, right? Yeah, uh, a, lot of, a lot of the Orcos flex these days revolves around a zero. Um... This is Cho'Gath Slayer, so Giant Slayer is always good. I, we can go for Giant Slayer, right? Okay. Because if we look around, there's I'm pretty sure there's a Cho'Gath player because that guy had four Cho's in defensive items. Unless he pivoted it off, but there's no Wait, way. that's the Gunner yeah. guy. Okay, then we'll just hold around. We'll just hold the sword then. You don't have to slam it. Wait, why did he pivot? Yeah, I don't know. Like in his spot, he should never pivot from. Um, Wait, but there's oh, because there's a different guy going for it too. <laughs> He's okay now. In this case, we could slam Giant Slayer because it's always going to be useful, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pick up the other Echo. I feel like we're holding on to a lot of stuff. I guess this is like a pretty big decision point: interest or like holding oh. Echo pair. So the only which pair do you think matters the most by far? Jinx. Yeah, Jinx pair matters the most by far. Everything else here is expendable. Like, who cares? Echo one, Echo two, it does not matter. Right, so it is very important this turn to make ten. So it's always sell echo, like always. Okay. And the Vi is like whatever, but we can keep the Vi in this instance. Yeah, because right? we win here. Wait, why is Vi whatever? Because I always thought you want to keep like the two costs of the tank trait you're going into just to like slowly ease into it. Um. Well, we have two star Renekton, and two star Cho. Obviously, two star Vi is better, but are we willing? Are we really willing to sacrifice all our gold for it? I guess. I guess the, these two can last us till stage 4-1, right? Then we roll down, find new tanks anyways. Is that kind of your logic? Yeah, because these guys will just be our stage 2, 3, and possibly 4 tanks. And then we just trade them for the 4 cost. If we don't have to uh, transition into 2 cost or 3 cost tanks, then we, we shouldn't. But if they come to us for free, then we'll take it, right? Yeah. But yeah. I wouldn't hold on to it at the expense of Econ, because Econ early is way too important. Okay. I think that's what I've been doing recently. I've been holding on to like a lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot of this set and last set is just you establish your board early, you find a direction early. If you're loose streaking, then you've probably loose streak all the way to three five and send at level seven, right? But it's best if you can find your early game board backline and early game carry. I mean backline and frontline units, and then um, transition straight to level seven. You just bypass level six. Mm -hmm. Right, that's, that's the best case scenario. Um, since we're we're looking to flex into zero, right? Um, if we start getting tears, probably gonna be a zero Silco. Right, it's just a zero, uh, Nasus, Jarvan, Swain, and then you could 
put in anything else to flex around it, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, if we get a free Felios, we can play it and just guarantee a top four and then play for Rage Blade. Uh, or Last Whisper, right? But, yeah, or like pivot into the Azir comp maybe on like stage five or something instead of stage four if we get a free, oh, free Felios. Darwin is right? huge. Um, I would lose Econ for Darwin because he's the most contested union right now because he fits in so many comps. Mm. But he, he can't really throw him in right now. Yeah. And I don't really want to sacrifice 20 gold to level up for, for him, right? Because you can't make 20. So that I would just keep him and then throw him in next turn and just call it as our as our comp. Okay. Um, I guess we could scout around, but mm -hmm. if anyone hurt, cringe level to level to six, maybe one of them would beat us. Like here, I would throw the bow on Jinx. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it might be the difference. We are getting Giant Slayer value in stage three. Yeah, but is it enough? He has everything upgraded. Probably not enough. Mm. Unlucky. Alright, uh, so it's not you have my sword, because I'm thinking of pivoting out. Comic caster is whatever. Armor is really bad. I'd say it doesn't give us... Let's just take support cash then. Yeah. It's probably the best out of these. I, I don't feel Rob like... is the best scaling one. Um, Chalice doesn't do anything for right, us right yeah. now, and Randuin's Grease are positioning for Jarvan, so I think we actually have to take Shroud. Alright. Um, I'm dying eternally, yeah. but I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, we because like, a lot of the other options aren't very good. Uh, I guess we put it on, like, Cho'Gath Echo? Mm hmm Or do we not care if Jarvan gets it? Uh... Jarvan's probably fine because we want him to be the same side as their carries anyways, but he, right now we could just put it on either one of those, right? So it's left side. Yes, sir. Dies of cringe. Uh, yeah, I really want to make 30, so we have to just sell it and just not pick up Swain, right? Because I'm right, I want to pivot into the strategist board, but. I don't want to drop below 30, so it is it is a choice that we have to unfortunately make. And the Jinx pair is just, like, if we hit Jinx 2, then... Yeah, the game is, like, so much time, easier. Right? Mm -hmm. So I guess, um, stage 3, 2, 30 gold without Econ Augment is, like, kind of like a, a marker or something, or, like, a checkpoint yeah, of so your I, gold. It is a checkpoint, but our, I feel like our board is strong enough, even if we lose, we'll lose gracefully, right? So, I would rather just make the 30 gold. I don't think, even though Swain 2 is so important in this comp, I don't think it's worth losing the Econ. Because if you lose, like say you lost, um, say you uh, pick the Swain and then you, you're 38 gold now. What if you win this fight? Then you can't make 40, right? And then, so, and then, so then it's 50, not actually yeah. like, it's not actually two gold. It costs you four gold already. Right? Yeah. And then that's two rolls. And then there are always those games where you're like, one or two rolls off, and then you're screwed. Wait, we exactly. beat the Jinx 2 guy? No way. Yeah, a, a lot of players, they might think, oh, Gunners into, like, Azir? There's no way. But, like, your items don't commit you to AD, right? They're very, they're still very flexible. Yeah. Um, like, even now, right? Um, I could still go both, technically. Yeah, you could go both, technically. Gravely is nice, but we can even just make a shiv and, but, and then we commit to AP, right? It's a four cost tier. We need some sort of anti shred. Okay. But that Nasus is looking the juicy looks as good hell. Too. But, but yeah, I mean, we're obligated to take tier, right? So then now you make the shiv, and then um, you're, you're going to slowly flex back into Azir, right? Yep. And I guess we can hold the Shen for fun. Just for fun, though. <laughs> so, with the Azir board, it's something like uh, Swain, Jarvan, Azir, Jarvan, Nasus, Azir Nasus. So, you can play anything, anything alongside it. Right. Say you had an extra RFC. Rare, but it happens. Say you had Blinding Speed or whatever, and you had an extra RFC. You could play Mord, and then it'd be Mord, Darius, right? It gives Noxus, and then maybe like any Slayer unit, right? That would be our level 8. Um,. Oh, we have Hyrule. Oh, 
Uh, I just I just clicked random right. units. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But Heimer, uh, Heimer's obviously good. And then yeah. it could be a Jarvan and a Slayer, right? It would be Jarvan and a Slayer. Yeah, That's like Aatrox and then Jarvan instead of Heimer. Oh, wait, you already, we already have Jarvan. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, no, this would be it. This would be it. Yeah. Oh, oh we need make Econ here. Oh, we lost. So let's go back to our team builder. Uh, say you're playing instead of Mord. So take out Mord and Darius real quick. Um, say you're playing Silco. Right, so it'll be Silco and then um, Warwick, depending on if the Zon is good. Say it's Violent, Warwick, and then you just play eventually for uh, Juggernaut. So it's just probably Set and Nautilus. But Set can be interchangeable with Darius. It's just Set is a bit more valuable because he actually does something. Yeah. Whereas Darius just doesn't Darius do anything. Darius just right. jumps in the air and does nothing, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. oh, so a so the base... That's why the only real flex is Azir, because A, there he can use a bunch of different items, right? Um, B, his core is very easy to play around. Um, yeah, because he doesn't need much to get going. Like, like, you can't do, and like, but the issue is a lot of the secondary carries, as in none of the secondary carries can be AD, right? You can't just throw in a random Aphelios, you can't just throw in a Zaya. So it's a, uh, we, I wouldn't even make this. We're pivoting out, right? Like I would just sell it. Yeah. And then we're going to roll next turn, right? So we start getting the pieces. Don't forget. Um, we need Swain. That is very important, right? Yeah. Swain, the four costs, and then random crap we hit. Yeah. 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 So our items right now are going to determine what our secondary carry is. Um, I mean, if you just get a bunch of AP items, you can still run Silco without blue. I won't even pull that yet. I would establish our board first, and we just got a random death blade. Ooh. Well, Silco, there he is. Like Silco, Warwick, mm -hmm. Nasus. Yep. Um. Jarvan. Swain. Oh shoot. Oh, Swain. It's fine. Swain. Swain again. Oh, we probably want to sell. Yeah. yeah. So we're not getting any direction, which is unfortunate. So, oh, it's here. So now we do. Okay. All three on him? Mm -hmm. I think we can actually pull the anvil next turn because we have 10 traits in, even though a lot of them we don't want. Yeah. If, if you're like 10, oh wait, one, two, three, four, five. 10 it guarantees three of them in. And we what have do we want? We want like Shrema, Strategist, Juggernaut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we don't hit, well, this game is very unfair. Uh, so we don't have any mords, so it's hard to play blinding speed, but maybe it's doable. So I reroll left, reroll right. Oh, that's much more uh, ideal. But yeah, I can do this middle. for Silco, right? Yeah, I'd, yeah, yeah, that's much more ideal. What I'd do we do with middle. this death blade, though? We'll make a Shojin. Okay. okay, so it's Unleash Arcana. Yeah. Then throw in Silco. We could probably, uh, instead of Echo, right? And then we could get rid of the Bruisers now. Um, and just throw in a, a Juggernaut instead of that, yeah. Then throw the tank items on... Yep. And then throw the AP items on Silco. Yes, sir. Then oh we could pull the anvil because uh it was it counts for last turn right yeah I mean not anvil the tome yeah yeah so strategist sure. strategist yeah 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 because yeah. um it's hard for sure it doesn't do anything you just throw it on set for now or something or anybody yeah oh we have a gun blade too if we need it mm -hmm. gun blade's fine oh I'd hold MF here. Hold them up here and see. We need to roll more though, because obviously our whole board's one star. So we could make a gun blade. Um, we could put MF instead of instead of the that Nautilus instead of set. And if we want to make a gun blade, we can take out remover Azir, put gun blade on him, and put the shiv on MF. And then we can just chill for now because there's not enough time. Yeah. And then yeah, gun blade. Yep. Yes, sir. The shiv, and then we'll roll again next turn. We want to we want to spread our team out out a little bit. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. 
But we definitely have to roll because there's no way we're going eight with this board, right? Because it's all yeah, one we star. have all one stars. We need to keep rolling for sure. So we could just roll next turn, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, but we need we need a tier item on Silco. Yeah, yeah, Shojin's good enough, right? Yep. Because we're in that kind of position where we can't pick and choose. Yeah. Also, uh, oh, it's robotic arm, so it's actually not that great, right? If it was, if it was not, or if it was like virulent, we need to look for another board instead of this Nessus. Yeah. Right. Even though we won this fight, we shouldn't get baited into thinking we're stable because we're not really not. I feel. Yeah, we have like we have one upgrade, and it's a uh, swing. <laughs> I, I don't feel very stable. Oh, there's a Silco oh. with a tear. Lord, please, okay, like. All right, now let's look around and see how contested our units are. I'm pretty sure they're pretty contested. There's oh, one Azir player, contested. some Jarvins. There's five Silcos gone. Okay. All right. What do we go for here? Tank item? Chain? Yeah, tank. Yeah, belt, 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 belt. Because we already have stone plate. Belt? Okay. Uh. Yeah, we already have some play. Now we need some HP, right? Yeah, okay. I was thinking Vow for Jarvan because I I pretty much always default build that. Yeah. So let's roll a little bit more. Aatrox instead of um. Let's keep rolling. I rolled to like twenty. We can't really f we can fit Heimer actually instead of MF. So let's put Heimer set MF, and then let's look for uh Meccano because we don't have anti heal. Um, not repair, not repair. Gold, one golden here is fine. Oh, don't forget about your strategy emblem on uh, oh, yeah, yeah, on, uh, yeah, yeah I'll just drop it on Heimer. Mm hmm, that's fine. Shiv on Heimer, too. Yeah, I need to roll more. That's that's my bad. I got no, confused like, by I, I, um, I, I, I wouldn't consider this like a high roll game at all. Right? Oh, we can roll for more Heimer upgrades as well. Like, come on, Meccano. One oh, we don't need shrink. Oh, masses. I think it's fine. You t just take one shrink, anyways. Really? Okay. Yeah. We can take what we can get at this point, right? And then, but you need your last one to be Meccano, though. Mm. Double Meccano got nerfed, so it's actually not that great. Okay. But here, I would actually sit and make 20 since you got the Nasus too. Yeah, yeah, let's take the Meccano. <clears throat> then make. Th Oh wait, no, you can't make twenty, but I, I wouldn't roll that much because you you still need a lot of gold to hit your carries. Yeah. But this might just be one of those games where you just won't be able to hit it because you're low rolling. That's fine. So right now I'd look at our potential matchups. Worry about the shroud. Um, also, it's it's a good idea to kill off our middle shroud immediately. right now. Yeah. Uh, what were you gonna say? It's a good idea to kill off our um, our Aatrox immediately if we can. Because you get more value from him throughout the fight if you can. Uh, okay. Do I want the buff on the Nasus or the Jarvan? The, the Nasus. Nasus, okay. We are getting some gold in Nader value. Wait, it's actually gold in Nader diff. He's yeah. executed. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? Wait, wait, one more gold? Oh, dude, that's <laughs> one here. <laughs> Yeah, no, Golden is pretty good. It, it get it actually executes the tank. Yeah. Dude, of course we're hitting all the Mordekaisers now. After How many we took the other. I, I'm I've already conceded you're never hitting Silco because well, yeah. I mean, there's two Silco twos, but there's no Azir's gone. So right now you're just getting BG'd, and that that'll happen. It's TFT, right? Yeah. Uh, so how? So we probably have to consider that we're never going seven because. We're so poor. Yeah, you mean never so going. So we eight. get Azir two and Jarvan. Yeah, I mean eight. Yeah, we're so poor, and then we have um, Jarvan pair as well. Hopefully, we get gold here. We don't. I wouldn't worry about items just yet. I roll. I roll. Because. Oh no, this is BG. It's a stable of ten gold though. Yeah, no, we are getting BG'd. Oh. Oh, we hit the Jarvan, and then okay, we can chill. <sighs> We have anti heal, probably redemption Shogun? for Nasus, right? Redemption, redemption for Nasus, because we want to com complete another tank item. Yep. Um, and in this case, I guess Gunblade still Dude, go. Rageblade Heimer for fucking Goldenator. <laughs> oh, you, you want. All right, you want to screw it. Screw it. I'm done. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm done. <laughs> Fuck it. it it's, it's a fucked item, anyways, so like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not that we great. We might as well have some fun it's while we're playing a video game. Yeah. 
Goldenator. Execute this Mira. Oh my god. Not bad. Alright. Um, yeah, this game's like hopefully we could top four just because it's like weaker weaker lobby. We have to econ up again though, because uh, unless we hit a natural eight, like a zero, yeah. it's, it is unlikely we're hitting a zero. Um, but I, I'm imagining what's going to happen is you're going to take a bad loss here, and then we'll have to roll a bit. But then, yeah, we have to scout around C, the where um, Shroud is best. And right now it's left side. Yeah. Like right now, if you want to fake it out, you can move Jarwin right side. And then if anyone happens to scout, they'll be like, they'll be they'll feel comfortable. Um, but I think you. They'll just perma stave left side, right? Yeah, yeah. I think because people got knocked out, then there are too many, yeah, too many yeah. matchups. And people yeah. don't, <laughs> they, they'll forget that there's a shroud in the mob because people have already forgot about that item. I've forgotten about Zephyr many times. Yeah, I, I got there's one game I got Zephyr like three fights, like one on each stage, <laughs> yeah. just because like yeah, I forgot the item existed. This Heimer's putting in work though. <laughs> It's the, Wait, it's the RF, win this? The Rage Blade <laughs> Goldenator. <laughs> Dude, but yeah, see, like even if you if you if, even if you low roll a bit, it's top four roll. So now yeah. it's much more likely we could just level up and play for level eight. Obviously, this Nyla pair is just the worst thing in existence. No flame to Nyla. Oh, um, one question on the Aatrox thing. Since we have a stone plate, normally I like having my stone plates on like the outside, but we want Aatrox to die right. first still. Is, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, we want Aatrox to die first. Okay. Uh, once Aatrox dies, the Nasus will get hit regardless. So I think this is much better optimization. But yeah, let's scrap for Shroud, though. Oh, shoot. It's, too, it's a little too late. But there's still perm on the left yeah. side, so we're chilling. Yeah. And then like right here, right after the Felios gets done with the Aatrox, he's guaranteed to hit the Nasus anyway. So you will eventually get stone play value. Right? Oh, okay. Right? Like now they're oh, targeting. Oh no, his Scion. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't expect us to win this because yeah, we have a well, zero. We don't one. have carry. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, there was one guy going his ear, but he sold it. So. Yeah. Now, there's Second a good argument plate? here that we could just literally just roll down for a zero, but um, I guess we'll take Zion. None of these items are really that great, right? Oh yeah. no, Adapt Helm is pretty good for um, Silk. Oh, but... Adaptive, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but right now I guess we. Just yeah, go I've for been seeing third. blue buff plus Adaptive on him. It, it's still fine. Like, uh, you really want the matter. He's still and one star. It... I guess we roll down right. now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Silco. Azir Silco. Wait, what? I would roll for Azir. Uh, I kind of want that adapted now. Keep going. Good time. Okay, now we're chilling. And then. Yep. Right, a big mistake a lot of players would make is they would just level up. But then if you throw in a sign, like, who cares, right? Um, yeah, so Shroud. Yeah, it's okay. like 50 so, yeah, 50 it, on the shroud but there's one guy who is still left yeah a big mistake people make is that they would just um level up and just throw in sign but it doesn't it doesn't offer that much value right you would much rather have your backline upgraded um yeah in this case yeah because he has three items on him so it's like three items two items um, the items yeah. are pretty much useless if they're one star my god, this Goldenator? Yeah, it's, it's actually paid off a lot. There's, when we rolled down to like 20 one time, when, when we should have rolled down to 10 or something like that, I was like, oh, we have no gold. Then like a couple turns later, we had 40. I was like, wait a minute, where'd that come from? Then I was like, oh, it's it's Goldenator. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's just Spark, right? That's the only real thing. Ah, uh, is it? It might be Edge at Night, like, I don't know, like Jarvan, I, I don't know, man. All right, I'm down for Edge and Ice Silco. Like, who cares? Like, I'm oh, actually, for more attack speed, right. Yeah, yeah, and then level up. Try to find MF, right? All right, we have a Sedge too, then. Cool. That also works. All right, because, like, right now, we're, we're trying to guarantee second place. Yes, we could read for third Silco item, but... Yeah, yeah, we have to recognize when it's not a high roll, right? And this game was... Yeah. 
Like, I was thinking Spark if we were trying to, like, play for that angle, but... Yeah. Dude, our Sedge sucked. She just died. I know she has no synergies or whatever, but... Damn, we yeah. got rocked by this guy. Mm -hmm. Alright, is it still yeah. MF over... Yeah, over Sedge, yes. The Sedge is worthless. Respectfully. Um... I feel like we get like maybe Scion or something. Oh, is Rise? What's the Rise? Uh, uh, that sounds like great. Not that great. Second Jarvan. I don't Jarvin? think a second Jarvan is better than um Sedge. Oh, oh f shoot! I rolled okay. over her. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's hard for us to cap out that much. Oh. 80 Jarvan? <laughs> it's it's gonna I be mean, the difference this fight, I have a feeling. Third, like, but... Wait, I guess I Jarvan. should have been scouting for Shroud at the end also. But luckily we had a good hit. good hit here. Alright, we, we take our free third and get out. Agreed. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah. I mean, a second Jarvan 2 is really good as well, if we can get it. Yeah. It's a math. Alright, yeah, let's just give up on the Jarvan 2. Um, it's the same one, it's the same one. One roll, hit MF. I mean, it doesn't matter, like, okay. Uh, Shroud, Shroud, Scout. Center this Shroud? Is... Maybe it's middle. Yeah, maybe it's middle. That, it's more reliable because he's unlikely to move his middle units, but he's probably moving his gunner units. Oh, what is this? Oh, he's he's trying to rogue your his echo into your ear, and he's gonna do yeah. it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we 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 lost this one. Is this all good? Wait, did we? Goldenator? <laughs> Gumbly do. Oh my god. Okay, it's not secondable. I'm not gonna trick myself. No, no, believe, believe. All right, let's look at the first place guy. He's an AD guy, right? Uh, oof. I guess just a Hodge. Maybe, oh, maybe Edge of Night. Maybe Edge of Night. Maybe Edge of Night. Wait, why uh, not? Um. Oh wait, they're both AD. That's why. Never mind. They're both AD, so that's why D call is not good. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking Edge of Night on Jarvin, so he casts again, maybe. Maybe. Alright, fuck it. MF2. Yeah. Alright, none of the items were good at all. Yeah, they're, they're pretty Who bad. Who cares? It would have been good on Silco, but it's whatever. It's rough out here, though. Oh, yeah, I, I said um we could have Darwin on left side because he's reliably. Ooh, never mind. He's smurfing on the Felios. Alright, no, there's no way he's casting no, again. We, there's no way we win this one. Wait. How is no, NASA wait. still alive? Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Uh, I was about to say, like, there's there's no way we were winning that one. <laughs> and no, if we had real items, if we did low roll all of a sudden, this game was completely winnable. Yeah, or even yeah. And yeah, even like a Shojin on Silka would have been, yeah. Yeah. We had triple item augments, I just realized that. Yep. Oh, good. Uh, not, not bad. It was kind of low roll, but we we recovered it. So. I would yeah. I would say this game is like slightly roll, low roll. Um. Yeah, we probably right should have gone like fifth, I think, or sixth. Yeah. Yeah, but then like we recognized we're not playing for first, so then uh, we had to do like some emergency roll downs. We didn't roll to zero at seven, right? We 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 um recognized that zero was uncontested, so we had the way to build our econ up a little bit more, and then roll again, right? Um, yeah. yeah, our items weren't that great, our augments weren't that great, our rolls weren't that great, and we still went third. Right? A lot, of, a lot of mistakes that a lot of players make is that we just like read, or they would even try to go eight in that situation before hitting their board. But I feel like that's incredibly fake. Um, this, this set, right? Yeah, yeah. You can only have the luxury of doing that if you're super ahead, and yeah, you have like HP to spare. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks so much for the game. Let's uh, check out the second game on Voidson's channel. So we'll leave a link down below, and then we could hop there, watch the second game. So I'll see you all there. Yep.
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And of course, smash that like button. Each like is an LP I gain before the next video.